Hey everyone, today we're making a nice warm potato salad with some bacon and sausage and green onions. And then I have a nice dressing going on that that's made of some Dijon mustard for some nice little tang going on. Nice flavors, a great summer dish. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it along with a couple of chef jokes right after this. So here's our chef joke. I'm gonna start one off and we'll have a second one a little bit later. Why did the potato cross the road? because he saw a fork in the road up ahead. <laughs> All right, so let's go over our ingredients so you know what's in this. First up, we have our potatoes. I'm using gold organic potatoes here, and I'm gonna peel them and cut them into, say, bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna boil them in some water uh, with a little bit of salt for about, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so. It just depends on how big you cut your pieces, and we're just, we'll test them with a fork. You want them to be fork tender. I have Applegate bacon here which I'm gonna use a few slices and we're gonna crumble that and put it in our salad. I've got Adele's sausage, it's a healthier sausage. It's, um, I'm using artichoke and garlic. You can use any kind of sausage you want. This is already cooked, so all, all I have to do is slice it up and heat it up in a frying pan. I have some fresh organic green onions, Italian parsley, and some basil, which is starting to turn. It's getting some black spots on it, but we'll chop that up. Add that in. And for our dressing, I'm using a, a good mayonnaise made with avocado oil here, Primal Kitchen. Next up is some sour cream, which just contains cream. Amazing, right? <laughs> you could also use Greek yogurt if you wish. I have some garlic powder. I'm using Annie's honey mustard dressing here. Now, if you don't have a honey mustard uh, sauce. You can always just use regular Dijon and add a little bit of honey to that, maybe a couple of teaspoons. I have a fresh lime. We're going to add some of that, apple cider vinegar, and salt and pepper. You can get all the ingredients down in the description of the video. Click down there where it says show more. All right, so we got our potatoes over here cooking in our pot. I'm going to bring them to a boil, like I said, and simmer them for, you know, until they're just fork tender. Now in this pan here, I'm going to cook some bacon. So these two things take the longest to make in this recipe, so we're gonna get those started first. Now we're gonna cook this bacon over medium-low heat for, you know, about maybe 10 minutes or so, or until it gets nice and crispy, and we're gonna turn it frequently. Once the bacon is done, go ahead and place it onto a paper towel covered plate to drain. So while the potatoes and the bacon are cooking, we can chop up our greens. So I've got my green onion here. And I like to use mostly the greens in this, so I won't use all of that. I'll save that for something else. But you can use it if you want, it's up to you. And we can just place our onions right in the bowl that we're gonna mix everything in. So next we'll shave off a little bit of parsley leaves and chop that up to go in next. So when the bacon is done, pour the excess oil into a cup uh, and not down your drain because you'll plug up your pipes if you do that. We'll place our sliced up sausage into that frying pan and we'll add back a little bit of that bacon grease just to get things a little bit moist. Now remember the sausage is already cooked and we're just going to reheat it a little bit. So when the potatoes are fork tender and done, go ahead and pour them through a strainer to drain them out. Once they drain, I'm going to put them back in the pot. Just to keep them warm, I'm just gonna put a partial lid on it. And since I'm the cook, I'm gonna sneak a piece of bacon because I'm hungry. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so now we're gonna make our dressing. So we're gonna place the mayo into the bowl along with the sour cream. And remember, you can use Greek yogurt if you don't wanna use sour cream. Here's our Dijon, honey Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder. We're gonna get the juice out of half of our lime here. So we'll just squeeze that in. A little bit of salt, a few cracks of pepper, and that should do it. And just take a whisk and blend it up. Now you may have some extras leftovers. You might not use it all in your potato salad, so you can certainly save this and add it to any other salad. It's a really great dressing. Now we just combine everything to our bowl. So I'm gonna pour in the potatoes, which are still warm. 
Here's our sausage, which we browned lightly. It's nice and warm as well. Now with the bacon, you can either chop it up or you can crumble it with your hands. So I'm just gonna crumble it in. Now I'm gonna give this a toss first, just to kind of mix things together a bit, nice and gently. Now you'll notice I haven't put the basil in yet, and the reason is because basil, if I cut it up too soon, will oxidize and turn black. So we're putting that in last. So I'm just gonna roll up the leaves and chop it up. Now I'll toss that in, and then we just add the dressing and add just as much as you like. I like to start off with uh, several tablespoons and then we'll mix it up, see where we're at. Give that a toss. I think we're gonna need some more here by the looks of things. I'm gonna add just a little more dressing. And that is pretty much it. Okay, so here is chef joke number two. What do you call a potato at a football game? A spectator. All right, let's serve some of this up. All right, I'm gonna give this a taste. Mm. First thing you notice is it's nice and creamy. The bacon comes through, not too heavy, but man, that has that nice little smoky flavor to it. The dressing is where it's at. It's got that tangy kind of sweet flavor going on. It really just brings the whole thing together. You guys are gonna love this, really, really good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my new videos come out every week. And smash the like button if you like this. It's really delicious. Thanks again, we'll see you next time. For another rockin' recipe, try my honey garlic chicken. You'll love it.